Hello guys, it's me Brezla and today I'm going to teach you how to make a game on Roblox and this is going to be a multi-episode video so stay tuned for more videos and episodes so today we're just going to do the basics on how to create a game so we're, we won't be doing any scripts or blocks so all we're going to do is setting up the game so first you're going to go into this link in Roblox basically if you already download Roblox then you should be able to instantly click it and open Roblox Studio if you haven't downloaded Roblox then there's gonna be a link on the bottom and there's also gonna be a link for this as well so first you gotta click start create it's gonna update and download or maybe open your Roblox Studio so like this so first first of all you gotta wait until it opens once it's loaded, it should look like this. So here's all the templates that you can use. So base plate is going to be basically empty. Flat terrain is basically a terrain with uh, Roblox's terrain tool. A pre-made village, a castle, a city, a racing game, a pirate's island, uh, a uh, cowboy themed map, a city, an obby game, and then a default starting place if you haven't created a game and then a line runner, infinite runner, and then blah 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 blah, right? So we're going to go into ba uh, base plate so we can review all the things in Roblox Studio. So when you start, it should look like this, pretty plain. What you should have is advanced objects. This is where you're going to insert stuff. If you want to insert stuff, go into view and click explore because this is where you're going to find all your items, properties, game explorer toolbox and then some minor things that you might need but you don't need right now is um, command bar script analysis and team create right here uh, script analysis makes makes it so if you insert something and then you make a script it can tell you if you made an error or not so like if you accidentally capitalize a T or something so first of all in home this is your move tool so in to insert a object you right click and you insert part right here or you can just go into the thing that we just did and uh, advanced objects right here and then we can just uh, search up part and we can just drag it in right there so when you first op uh, when you first open these tabs right here you're gonna get like these random boxes popping up like uh, like this You be you you have like these boxes, okay? You can just organize them however you want. You put this right there. Put this right here. This is how I organize mine. So I have my toolbox, properties, and explorer. You can change it however you like. So first of all, we're gonna go into properties. In properties, you can change uh, appearance and data, behavior, and surface inputs and parts. So first of all, you can change brick color. So you can click here. You can change it. So I'm gonna change it to black. And then you can change how if you want it to cast a shadow if there's sun rays on it and then if you want to change the the uh, material so this is force field material you can just change it to any you can experiment so when you diamond plating well black is a very bad color to see the material so when you do white granite all these stuff just change it to anything and then here you won't be needing those Okay, reflectance is basically how much it reflects the background. Transparency is how much it can be seen through. One being the max, zero being not seen through. So if I do half, as you can see, you can see ha halfway. If I do one, it's invisible. So let's put this back to zero. You won't be needing this because it's too advanced for you. Okay, behavior. Anchored means that it's like, like frozen. If this is not if this is not anchored and if you put this in the air it's gonna drop down most people don't like it so they put anchored when you anchor it it stays put so if I move it up it stays there forever and if I unanchor it when you join the game it's gonna drop down can collide is basically if you can go through it if it's checked then it that means it can be collided which means that you can touch it and stuff if it's off then you can't touch it so you just go right through it so if I'm on top of it I'll just go through locked means that if you can select it or not sometimes you might need it sometimes you don't need it 
surface inputs is basically how you want it to be how the surface would look like so smooth no outlines will make no outlines when you stack it up stepping motor you can see that it makes this thing and just experiment with it usually I would recommend smooth outlines so basically change it to smooth outlines if you change it to smooth outlines so if you go into model on top of here you can change how you can move stuff so select tool you can just move it you select items unless it's locked then move it move is a precise one so basically you can move precisely but before you can do that there's a setting right here that you can put it. so if I want it to do five studs and it's gonna move by five if I want it to be pretty precise you can just change it smaller the smaller it is the, the more the more precise and then you can change how much degrees it rotates so mine's at 45 so it rotates pretty large if I do five then it rotates pretty small and then if you click on collisions like last time I told you can collide if I click that and then it, then this can be uh, colliding so you can't move it like this it hits the base plate and it doesn't go through if I disable it that means it can go through and this is useful if you're building advanced items okay so now we have this block right here what we can do is click on effects and we can put stuff in it so we can put a fire if you click on it and go into properties you can change the settings so heat the more the, the heat and the more brighter it is I guess and then the size how big it is like that basically just go into properties and mess around with these settings you can access it by clicking on object and go into properties and then so now to insert models we're gonna go into your toolbox section and then you can see you can adjust your settings right here you can make it so it's white or textured I like it uh, the transparency textured because sometimes people might troll you with like fake models and stuff and you can see if it's a picture or not like you can go into like for example if you go into images which is also known as decals and if you go into none see this is a white this, as you can see this is a white texture on the outside if you uh, as you can see you can see the texture outside so it's gonna be see-through so that's a good tip to know. So basically once you're in the toolbox you can just click, hold, and drag. And then you have your model right there. Click, hold, drag. Click, hold, drag. And click, hold, drag, and everything. Like this. And if it's like, if it's not at the correct position you just use the select tool right here. Move it if you want to be precise. You can use the move tool and move it like right here, right there. And then it, if you want to play and test your game, you go into test and then you click play. So basically, you click this and you can play and everything. And if you want to stop, obviously, you click stop. So now, if you want to publish this, all you have to do is click file first of all you gotta save uh, save the game so basically make sure you have everything so if you somehow crash and you have the items still so basically what you do is you click publish to Roblox and it, if you're if you haven't gotten a game yet it's gonna pop up this and then here's all the games I made and stuff so basically you click on new place add a title description if you want to make it public or private and then what kind of game this is then you can do thumbnails you can take a snapshot of your thing so you can do this right take a snapshot that's your image access you can say uh, if you want to do if people on computers can play if people on phone can play blah 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 and then you can skip that how much people you want to have on the game max and then here's the settings if you want just read and everything how much it will cost to buy a VIP server or if you don't want a VIP server and an advanced settings if you click this then people will be able to copy your game so most people won't click this because of course no one wants to give the game out for free so here you can change uh, avatar appearance we won't be doing that today so here when you got when you buy gears on roblox you can enable them right here if you enable them then people who bought gears can use the gears in this game so if everything's off everything they bought in roblox won't be on here most games don't have this 
and then that's basically it you click clear create place once you do that all this random stuff will pop up saying that would you want to advertise your game and everything so once you're done you should go back into your roblox once you're in roblox click create so you should be in games now so what you do is you go into the setting menu and you click configure start place you can tweak your settings and everything and now you can upload your images so you click file choose file then click on the image and upload it and it's gonna open this and then it needs to be a square or else it won't look good on the thumbnails and here you can just basically do the same thing choose file then click on the image in your um, desktop and then upload image access we, we just talked about that and the version history how much versions they were and then that's basically it and then you click save once you saved everything it should bring you back to your main page and all of this here and then you click on this to play your game and if you want this to show in your profile you do this and then it, this should say add to profile but it's already added to profile and if you want to remove it then you just do this like that and then if you want to add it back like that so next episode I'm probably gonna do more on um, block building so stay tuned for more of that videos and peace out